Carnivorous plant update for March 26, 2012. It's warm enough to have the plants back outside. These are a, this is a hybrid. This is a Ventricosa crossibianesis uh, cross Marliana. It's got new pictures coming in. Really cute. We got a. Uh, I know it's backlit, but we got a uh, Ventrata out there. Get that one in a little bit. And then we've got this guy here. Who lost its pictures in the shipping. He's got a new one coming in. This is a Ventricosa Maja at as. So this is the uh, Blue Bog Garden. I actually have a uh, Two of them now because I've gotten a few more Venus flytraps. And in this one, we've got V52 right there. These two pots have low giants in them, they're brand new. Got them in the mail recently. It's a Saracenia purpurea, it's not doing very well that I got from Lowe's. Same thing with this typical rubro, it's doing pretty badly, also from Lowe's. But I managed to save this one from Lowe's and it's doing quite well. And this is a, uh, a fused toothed Venus flytrap. Again, it's too young to really be interesting yet. Um, another Lowe's typical flytrap that's actually doing very well. It's got little flower buds on it. Uh, Big Mouth, that's doing really well. I got this one in a, as a freebie for ordering a bunch of plants from... Uh, forgot where I got them. And then, yeah, the B-52 is doing real well. And then over here, under hiding under the poinsettia, I've got a uh, Morphophallus conjac that's coming up. It's only a little one. It's not gonna, probably not gonna make any flowers, but it's pretty cool. I wonder what it'll do. And uh, I have a second one as well coming up right there. And then in the Saracenia bog, this was sold to me as a uh, Saracenia flava copper top, but the top isn't very copper. I'm thinking that that's not what it is, but I still like it. And then this is the uh, Saracenia leucophila titan. It's gotten taller. It's taller than the flava, so that's pretty cool. It's living up to its name. It's the first Saracenia I ever got. This is a uh, Dana's delight. And then these are in flower right now. This is a uh, green rubra golfensis that I think has become four plants. Last year when I bought it, it was uh, it was one. And I'm going to have to repot probably at the end of the season because there's so many plants coming up. Now for those of you that watched the uh, pumpkin patch and gourd updates all last year, I'm not going to really be growing cucurbits much this year because I... Uh, had such a nice success last year and I was really happy with everything. I neglected my carnivorous plants and lost some of my Nepenthes, which I'm not happy about. I'm hoping to replace them and start over. So this year I'm concentrating mostly on Nepenthes and Aristolochia, which are Dutchman's pipe vines. I might show something about them later. But anyways, I've redone the gourd arbor into a lowland Nepenthe shade house. This was fun to rework. This is uh, Nepenthe's uh, ventricosa. I cut it up and I'm doing some cuttings of it. And it's got some basils coming in. And the truncata. A truncata D, so it's supposed to be a red one. But the wind is wreaking havoc with my shade plastic, which is not good. I'm gonna have to think of something else to fix that. 
this is was sold to me as a uh, Nepenthes Rain, Rain Wardiana uh, red, but it's not what the pictures look like to me. There's another picture. And the shapes just aren't right. I don't think. This is a uh, Ventrata. It'll come back. It's not doing so well. The other spikes on it died. But this is a uh, Nepenthes Miranda. No pictures on it right now, but it's it's getting little pictures are starting to come back. Like that one there. Hopefully it'll be big next time I update. Got a, a Lowland Truncata. A Gracialis. A red one. And uh, we got a Nepenthes Campanulata there. And then, well, I am growing some Cucubrids, actually. This is a uh, Melothia Scabra, or a uh, Mouse Melon. And these are Ivy Gourds. Now, what's inside, we've got some neat plants, too. Nepenthes Ventricosa, it has pictures. It's nice. All ready for Easter. I love spring. Spring is my favorite season. Okay. So, here are some of the plants that I have inside. Of uh, carnivorous plants, anyways. <laughs> Got some little cute chick bouncy balls there. And on the windowsill. Trying to get the best lighting here. You can see the budgies in the background. Got a... Uh, Truncata D, Cassiana, uh, Sibuyanensis, Cross Spectabilis, Cross Aristolochoides, uh, Truncata Lowland, uh, Coplandii. I love those things. They're so cute, but it's not picturing at the moment. I had to cut off some of the dead pictures. And a uh, really beautiful hybrid of. Uh, Ventricosa cross CBNSs cross uh, Trusmadiensis. Come on, focus. Hmm. Picture coming in. This one's got a lot of pictures coming in. And these blo blue pots. I had a question about them for anyone. Maybe some of you on the forum can suggest something. Okay, so I bought these blue turquoise pots because I like them. They're my favorite color. And uh, But what happens is when you fill them with water... I'll just do that for now. They drain out, as you can see there from the side. But then once they get to that line, whoops, once they get to that line, it stops draining and it holds water. And I'm now worried and thinking that these probably aren't good for Nepenthes. Would you guys think that I should stop using these? I know I bought a whole bunch. I'm not sure how to get the trays off the bottom, but what I do is, after I water my Nepenthes a lot, I tip them and dump them as much as I can, because I want the, the sphagnum moss to be... Uh, to absorb the water and keep them moist. So under the grow lights right now, I've got some cuttings that a buddy of mine named uh, Pearl Diver from the forum sent me. Some unknown nep, I named it Cool Unknown Nep <laughs> because the dead picture it came with was really neat. And this one could be a Marilliana or a Marilliata hybrid or species don't know. Have to wait. Hopefully this will they'll root and do well. And uh, oh yeah, I've got these things for seeds. 
I don't know. I haven't had any luck with them. I tried last year, and I'm trying again this year. Uh, but these are new because they have the clear lids so the light can get into them. And they have this little vent. Close it, and then let a little bit of the air out. And then the, the clear things in the back, I thought they might be good because of um, all the light that can get through, and you can stack them. And I got them in there with uh, milled long fiber sphagnum moss. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys recommend these for seeds for Nepenthes? Or is there a better method? All right, and I got this tank yesterday. This is awesome. Got it for 25 bucks from someone on uh, Craigslist. It's a 55 gallon tank, and I'm gonna be putting mostly uh, Highland Nepenthes in here. Need to fix the seals a little bit, so I gotta get some some uh, silicone. And then my main Nepenthes indoor tank. Right now it's mixed because even though it's hot right now, the nights are still kind of cool. But eventually my lowlands will go outside. And what I like about this thing is the uh, my Patrick humidifier. <laughs> I put the face on him. And then turn it on. And then look down here. I've got this uh, clear plastic on the top so the light bulbs don't get moist. But I've heard that it's not too much of a problem, but it helps keep the humidity inside. And I've got some cuttings in there. This was sold to me as a black peristome ventricosa, but it might it's more likely a hybrid because it had wings. And then uh, a giant Sarawak red by Calcarata. It's got a new new pitcher coming in. There's an old older pitcher back there. So pretty. Yes, it's a little hot in there for the highlands, but they're okay at night. It cools off. This was the one I took the cutting on and it still has a basil. And I'm thinking of cutting off the parent plant because the parent plant looks terrible. I don't think it would hurt if I did that. This is a uh, Nepenthes Marilliana. And it's got, whoa. It's got a pitcher coming in. And it has a pitcher coming in there. This little guy right here, it's got a lot of pitchers and a basil. This is a uh, Northiana. And then that little guy back there is my first Hamada. Uh, why doesn't it focus when it goes closer? That pitcher just opened up like two days ago and that leaf is starting to open up. And he gets special treatment because at night He goes in here, and he likes it in here at night. Fridge all just for him. And I put a thermometer in there, and it's about between uh, 48 to 51 degrees. Another cutting from the Ventricosa Maja has. And this... And it's getting harder to see. Uh, is another Moreliana. This is the first picture of it I've ever grown. I'll show it once it's not misting in here. And last one. This is a Burbinji Day. Burbinji Day. <laughs> I always have a hard time with that one. At least that's what they told me. It was eBay buy. So I don't know from the same person that told me that the copper top was copper top and outside and that the black peristome 
which is actually might be a special out of cross uh, ventricosa. But anyways, you guys think that's a Burbidgee day? It's kind of hairy. It's gonna open soon. But it doesn't have colors like Burbidgee day, so I don't know. And it's got a new picture coming in there. And a picture coming in there. And the whole tank, I just put egg carton down there. I think it looks really nice and helps keep the plants off of the, uh, out of the water. Because they like it moist, but not waterlogged, not like the Saracenias. It just looks really nice when it's misting. Okay, I just turned off the mist. And what's nice is that it's cool. You can see the layer with regular air and the humid mist hovers in the tank for a while. Also, I don't have the AC right now. I need to turn it on because it's hot, even in the house. But I get cold real easy. It's a little bit of mist on this half, still floating, but not on this half anymore. And then the plants get moist little tiny droplets on them. Oh, now you can see the uh, Muriliana back there. Sort of, it's still kind of moist. It has a second picture too. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know if you can, because I can't see the viewfinder if you guys can see this. Oh, there it is. Nope. Another picture coming in. So eventually I want to put most of these guys in the new tank. I need to think of a design, which at the moment I have no ideas for. Alright, so that's the update for the carnivorous plants for this month.